Good evening, thank you for joining me again. A few weeks ago, I got a new pair of glasses. I am wearing them now. I had to get new glasses because during the last lockdown, several things went wrong with my old ones. I have to admit that I am not particularly careful in the way that I take my glasses on and off. I tend to do it one-handed, and with the old glasses, which were metal rather than plastic, that meant that the arms stretched, so they didn't really fit in the right places around the sides of my head. Also, those little plastic bits you get on metal glasses that are meant to keep them in the right place on your nose, they'd never been all that reliable at staying put, but during lockdown they got completely lost. So um, I had to replace them in the only way that I could, which was with two small blobs of blue tack. It did mean that they stayed where they were meant to be on my face though. And then I forgot that the arms of my glasses had stretched rather, and I did what I usually do with my glasses when I'm not wearing them, and I took them off and put them on the top of my head. Then I moved. And as I moved, they fell off and hit the ground, and as they did that, I put my foot on them and managed to smash the edge of one of the lenses. This meant that when I finally got around to going to see the optician, the lady I went to see held my glasses at arm's length like something rather unpleasant and said, I think we'll start again, shall we? So I have new glasses. Now, during the last couple of live streams, I have noticed that my glasses have been reflecting something that makes them look white rather than clear. So a little earlier this evening, as it started to get dark, I sat in front of the laptop, as I am now, with the camera turned on, and I tried to get rid of the reflection. I tried holding my head in different positions, and as you can see, some positions are better than others. I tried moving lamps around, I tried turning the overhead light off to see if that got rid of the effect. I tried closing the shutters that are on the windows in this room in case it was those that were reflecting white in my glasses. Eventually, and I am sure that some of you out there will have worked this out way before me, I realised that what my glasses are reflecting is the glow from the screen that I am looking at. You know those moments when you feel just a little bit silly? Yeah, this was one of those. But it did make me think. It made me think about reflections. I was, and probably am, thanks to my glasses and the fact that I am not surrounded by the brilliant light of summer, reflecting something that I don't want to reflect. Thankfully, glasses showing up badly on the screen is not really a big deal, but some of the other things that I reflect are more of a big deal. For anyone like me who calls themselves a Christian, what we're meant to reflect is Jesus, and that is a huge challenge. Jesus was always compassionate, except when he saw injustice, and then he never failed to challenge it. He stood up against the wrongness of a corrupt system, but still accepted everyone who came to him honestly with love. I would have to admit that if I look in my Jesus mirror, that's not always what I see. And that's kind of okay, because I'm not Jesus, none of us are. We reflect badly like my glasses. But it's still good to remember that everything that we say or do as Christians reflects to other people something of the God that we tell them we believe in. And the good news, if that's sounding like too much of a challenge, is that we don't have to do it on our own. Because just like Jesus in the scriptures was always there for other people, Jesus is there to help us too. All we have to do is ask him. Simple, right? So as ever, I'm gonna end with a prayer. And this is a Mother's Union prayer that was written by Mary Sumner. And if you'd like to make it your prayer, feel free to say or write an amen at the end. All this day, Lord, let me touch as many lives as possible for you. And every life I touch, be with them through the words I speak to them, the prayer I pray for them, or the life that I live. Amen. Thanks for joining me. 
I'll see you again tomorrow, I hope. Bye for now.